Just as not all of your customers in store are the same, not all sales are the same. If you have a customer who has begun a sale but needs to return at a later time the same day, you may want to use a parked sale to remember what was in it. Also, if you have a customer who wants to put down a deposit to reserve a product in your store, you can use the layby or layaway function until they come back and pick it up and pay off the balance. For customers that regularly purchase products and pay off their balance at an agreed time, you can use the on accounts option as well. We'll take you through how to process each one now. So let's say our customer has come into our store and they're looking to buy a shirt. Right before we accept our payment, the customer mentions that they may have left their wallet in their car. We can easily add a note to the sale describing the details. And instead of clicking pay, we can look up the top and click parked sale. The sale will close, allowing us to complete more sales to other customers in our store. Later on, the customer returns and we can click on sales history. We can find the parked sale and click the continue sale button. All of the details are returned to the sale screen, including products, customer details, and we can complete the payment and the customer can leave your store happy with the service provided. Account sales can also be completed in Vend. Just add the customer and products and then click pay. Within here, we can look towards the bottom and select on account. This will close the sale and the customer is allowed to take the goods at the time. You can then accept payment at a later date, either in Vend or through an external option such as a bank transfer. Another selling option is a layaway, often called layby in other territories. After your customer and products are added, you can use the notes field to possibly include some terms and conditions if your store has any with laybys. After clicking pay, we have the option to select layby. Many stores prefer to accept a deposit before this, so adjust your amount tendered and take an initial payment if you would like to operate this way. After that, you can select layby and the customer receives a receipt showing the deposit they made and the amount that's owing before they can collect their items. Every time the customer returns to pay more, just filter your sales history down and continue the sale. Once the entire sale is paid off, the customer can take their goods.